Hey, how's it going? I'm Ida Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, I can see how off center the camera is. I've not put it in the best position. I put it in a slightly better position than it was when I first put it up, but <laughs> it's still not in the best position. Um, I, never mind, I'm just going to leave my place. You can still see me, you can still see my set, so it's fine. It's cool, it's all good. Um, so because I've been doing a lot of talking about um, my transitional stuff and LGBTQ plus related stuff over the last few weeks, um, I wanted to do one where I was talking about my writing stuff because like, you know, point of the channel. Um, so I mentioned in my roundup of August slash update one um, that I am still doing edit throughs of We Giants, partly because I keep getting distracted whilst I'm supposed to be editing and then I don't feel like I'm doing a good enough job of it. Um, I feel like I'm doing a slightly better job of it. This time around, I'm actually making sure that I'm concentrating properly. Um, I'm occasionally like breaking it up, and so instead of doing like the two chapters first thing in the morning, I might do one chapter first thing in the morning and then get on with all the stuff that I need to be getting on with, which is what I've been getting distracted by. Um, and then coming back and, and doing the second chapter later when I've actually got the time to sort of sit there and actually concentrate on it. Um, so I'm hoping now this is actually the last. Uh, edit through. Um, I'd really like to get We Giants released for the 30th of September because that is Sly's birthday. Um, I doubt I will just at the pace that I'm going um, currently, but if there's a chance for me to pick the pace up a little bit, um, a little bit later on. But that's the thing is I've got a few things that are, that are happening this week. Um, which means that I've not been able to, to do it this week, uh, to speed up a little bit this week. I've got a couple of things that happen ne next week, which means I'm not necessarily going to be able to pick up the pace again next week. Um, but if I can maybe pick up the pace um, the week after, that, that would help. Um, but even then, I, I, there's a really good chance that I'm not going to be able to complete another complete edit through before the end of September, which means it's unlikely to release on Sly's birthday as much as I would love for it to release on Sly's birthday, because that would just be like... I mean, I wanted to release High in a Boy on Jay's birthday. Um, I didn't think so much about it because I see that came out in December and Sly's birthday is November. Um, Orion's was nowhere near his birthday. <laughs> Actually, it might have been closer to his birthday than it could have been because of all the delays um, with the cover and stuff, um, which I, I did sort in the end. But yeah, I don't think it was as close to his birthday as it could have been, and it wasn't originally going to be close to his birthday. It was originally supposed to come out last December, and his birthday is in uh, April. So I might have ended up accidentally closer to his birthday. Um, so yeah. If it doesn't happen for Sly, it's not happened for any of the others, so it wouldn't be like a big, big disappointment or anything like that. But like, it's just like, it's, it's the start of September and I'm just like, it'd be really nice if I could release it for his birthday, but it's probably not going to happen. Having said that, all things being well, um, I'm hoping now to release uh, as soon as this edit has finished, which might be in October, uh, probably October at the earliest. Uh, it's all very dependent on what my life is doing. So as I said before, they're long chapters to get through. I mean, it takes me about four, a good 45 minutes to properly edit a chapter. Um, yeah, that's just one chapter. That's why I can't wait to just be focused on the series that will be coming afterwards, because the chapters are so much shorter and it takes me about 20 minutes, half an hour to get through one of those chapters, um, and like the books are in like 19 chapters each, um, whereas We Giants is 36. So the 36 or 38 chapters, as I said, it's shorter than uh, No Doors Allowed and Because I See, um, but it is still on the high end boy. Um, so what is coming next after the Giants? Um, I've sort of talked a little bit about it before. Um, so this is one of the two spin-offs um, from the Nev Rating Collection. Um, 
I don't know if I've officially said what the name of this series is. It's sort of, I think, under the title of What Makes Me, um, and then the name of the, the title character. Um, so the four books from this series would be What Makes Me Toby, What Makes Me Rowan, What Makes Me LJ, and What Makes Me Silence. Um, so I'm quite, quite excited at this point to sort of get through the finishing of uh, editing the giants because I feel like the, the other the, these next four books because they're so much shorter because they're so much easier to get through um I feel like they're a lot closer to being ready and I'm sort of support more kind of I want to focus on like finishing up the cover and tidying up the cover I feel like I'm almost there with these four books um I don't know if I'll manage to do a release for the end of the year there is four of them and it would be nice to sort of space out a little bit more um but as it is, I feel like, yeah, I just need to get through Regiants, um, get Regiants done, and then, like, these next four books are going to be so much easier sort of, to, to sort of turn around, and I'm quite excited about um, this series, because this is the series that I wrote during lockdown. Um, so the, and the second spin-off series, I wrote the first book during lockdown, and then I've been writing the other books since, and I already know that the second spin-off series, which doesn't have an overarching title to it yet, but it's probably going to be in six books which I didn't originally think it was going to be, um, but I'm coming near the end of the fourth book now, and there are a lot of, lot of threads that kind of need tying up a little bit, um, some which were created from the third book, some which have been created from the fourth book, um, and it's, it's to do with relationships between certain characters, so I'm thinking I definitely need a fifth book, to sort of tie up some of these things and to tie up some of these elements um, from the plot that have, have uh, happened during the course of the fourth book. Um, and then I made a sixth book in order to go back to the plot threads um, that are kind of hanging from the third book and kind of tie them up. But it's all really dependent on what ends up happening during the fifth book and what I can show during the fifth book. Um, I do definitely know which two characters I would focus on for the uh, fifth and sixth books, if it is two. Definitely know which who's coming first with the fifth book, um, because it's the more prevalent storyline, just sort of, and like the nice thing, um, the nice thing about this series is each book does kind of lead into the next book, so the first book in the series uh, you get to the ending and then the second book in the series kind of focuses on the character that needs to be focused on after that particular ending and then there's events near the end of the second book which means that the third book makes sense for why you've gone to that character and then there are events near the end of the third book which makes sense for why you've gone to the, uh, with this character the fourth book and now there are events near the end of the fourth book which will make, make sense for going on to this character for the fifth book but it's all like how can I then feed it back into the sixth, the sixth character? Um, I don't know yet. I've got like a, a vague idea of the setup for it, but I don't know. And it may well be that I can tie everything up in the fifth book. Um, it may well be that I need a, a sixth book in order to sort of wrap the series up in a nice, neat way and to end it on an even number. But if it ends on an odd number, then it's absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, it's. Um, that's kind of where I'm sort of going with my writing at the moment. The narration stuff is definitely a big chunk of it. Um, but in the background, at the same time, I am still working on um, my next two books in the Shadows Beneath the Light series. Um, I, I feel at this stage they're definitely more dark fantasy than they are horror. Um, it may well be that I, I go back into a more horror streak um, once I get onto the, the next two books. Um, but for these two books in particular, they are definitely more dark fantasy. Um, it may well be that during the editing process, I can sort of build some more horror elements into them. Um, but I feel like I'm probably getting to the end of the second book now. I'm just trying to figure out exactly what's going on in this one. Um, don't introduce time loops into anything. Time loops really make things very tricky, um, and I'm just like, I have no idea what's going on at this point, and I'm not writing it. Um, again, I'm very good when it sort of comes to editing through things. Um, it might take me a little while to kind of figure things out, but I, I, you know, I've done entire edits of things 
where I've kind of completely rewritten elements um, in order to make things make more sense. So I'm very aware that this is you know, this the, this book in particular is probably going to be an edit um, in order to sort of make everything sort of cool a bit nicer and, and to, to lay out a bit nicer. Um, but it also kind of makes sense that you're doing like a time loop one because like, you know, one of the characters at least has temporal powers um, and you know that from like the first two books. So it kind of makes sense that you're dealing with something that is time related um, at some point during the series. Um, and then I know kind of what the next two books need to be about in order for like everything to kind of wrap up and then have like a nice six book series um, with like different art. But yeah, this arc is quite interesting because the first book and the second book are much more connected to each other than um, the first arc was. Um, I might try to do something similar with the third arc to the first arc, so you've got like the, the arc that is very interconnected and then the two arcs where it's just like characters are in the different places. Um, but at this stage, I don't kind of know 100%. Um, I definitely need to at some point start uh, the editing process for uh, these, well, for the, for the first book for this, so that I can sort of introduce some of the elements that I know are in the second book so that things tie together a bit more neatly. But again, I can't really start doing that until I get through the giants and maybe get through some of the editing work for the, the What Makes Me series. Um, and then, yeah, then it's all working out the editing stuff for the, yeah, Untitled series. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a lot of, there's a lot of that at the moment. It's a lot of, I've got lots of plans, I've got lots of creative stuff, sort of. I've got lots of balls in the air and it's kind of working out, you know, um, little intricate details of what I want to do and where I want things to go and, and stuff like that. So. Yeah, it's again. It's, it's. I know I've been like focusing a lot on, uh, as I said, um, doing me coming out from binary stuff and the LGBTQ plus stuff over the last few weeks. Um, a lot of that's going to do with the fact that it's it's a lot of the stuff that's been weighing on my mind and a lot of the stuff that I've been thinking about. But like, in the background, my writing has just been ticking along, just like it always does. Um, there's a lot of exciting things going on with it at the moment. Oh yeah, okay. There's not been a lot of progress in terms of getting published um, but in terms of actually doing the work and, and actually um, going through the processes that I need to do in order to make sure that the work is good enough for it is yeah I have been doing that and yeah I've been focusing on that and like, with the writing itself yeah I've been doing uh, I've been getting on with it and it's all been like uh, it's, it's all you know for me it's, it's just that kind of that staple that kind of um, kind of anchor that I really need right now <laughs> like you have no idea how much I need this anchor right now um but yeah yeah so that's kind of what's going on with my writing at the moment um I apologize this has been like really like oh there 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 kind of one um but yeah that's just how my brain is kind of working in terms of my writing at the moment in terms of the way I'm sort of like thinking about it at the moment I said it's one of those things that's always sort of like ticking along in the background. Um, I think part of the reason I've not sort of um, felt the need to talk too much about it recently is because although I'm making lots of progress, it's not like interesting progress, it's not like stuff that I can really sort of share all that much. Um, but as I said, hopefully this is the last edit of the Giants and then that'll make my life a lot easier because then I'll have more time for editing the other projects and working on the covers of the other projects, um, I'm fairly certain that the cover that I have made for We Giants is the cover that I'm going to go ahead with. Um, I, I've looked at it a few times since and I don't feel like there are any tweaks that I can really do to it that will really make that much of a difference and really improve it enough for me to feel like it's worth it, not for the skill level that I have. Um, I have plans for some of the covers for um, the What Makes Me series. I know definitely what I want for the first cover. I know definitely what I want for the second cover. Like the third and the fourth covers, I'm like, ah, oh, ah, oh, concept ideas. What what do I want? Uh, what is actually going to work? Um, and I've come up with like a few things that I might be able to do, um, but those two are definitely going to need a little bit more workshopping. Um, I mean, as I said, I'm, I'm not at the stage of definitely being able to release them right this second, but I'm getting close to that point, so 
I might sort of start um, workshopping some ideas with um, some of the people I know and kind of asking them, oh, well, what would make sense to you on the cover for these two books? And I know, like, for the first book and the second book, absolutely, these, these things make sense on the covers. Um, but for the, the, the third and the fourth book, it's like, oh, I could put this on the cover, but it doesn't necessarily 100% make sense. Or I could put this on the cover, but it's very, very abstract. So you're going to have like these two very abstract covers and these two not so abstract covers. And because the, they, they are sequential, um, so the events of Toby happens for, for, before the events of Rowan, which happen before the events of LJ, which happen before the events of Silas. Pretty much, I mean, there's more of an overlap um, time-wise time between the end of LJ and the beginning of Silas. But it's not enough to really kind of go, oh yeah, they're, they're kind of companions. No, they're not. It is, it is sequential. Um, it's very much sequential. Uh, so yeah, I, it, it doesn't make sense to have two sort of very grounded covers and then two very abstract like cover images. Um, so I might try to find a more grounded image for those two covers. But at the same time, I'm like, what? What, what, what can I put? What, what? This doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, so yeah, they may end up being slightly more abstract cover images. Um, we, we will see. Um, but yeah, that's, the, I guess that's all the exciting, happy stuff I can talk about with my mind at the moment. As I said, it's one of those things, it's always sticking on in the background. It's always going on in the background. Um, I really need to start talking about writerly stuff a little bit more on this channel um but then i go through phases where i'll talk about the writerly stuff a lot um anyway so i think yeah i think just playing it by ear kind of works but then i end up with like five or six weeks talking about the same things in a row um i don't know it's not like anybody's watching this so i guess it doesn't it doesn't totally matter it should just be whatever's whatever happens to be in my head that day um, but at the same time, you know, if for whatever reason this channel suddenly does start, decide to take off, it would be nice to kind of have a little bit more variety more often. But yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so I'm going to wrap this one up here. I hope you found this sort of interesting um i hope you're looking forward to seeing whatever it is i'm going to be talking about next time and i will see you next time see ya <laughs> if you've enjoyed this video feel free to check out some of my others and if you like what you see please like and subscribe see ya